Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here on October the 11th, 2022, and I just wanted to come in and let you know that the Feast of Tabernacles starts today. Yep, that week-long festival where people sleep in tents and wave palm branches around, it actually starts today, October the 11th, at sunset. Now, if that's news to you, let me show you over here in Exodus chapter 23 why that's important. Of course, Exodus chapter 23 is part of the covenant that started back there with the Ten Commandments in Exodus chapter 20. You see here in 23 where it's talking about the statutes and it says that there are three times in a year when all of our father's children must meet. You know, there are seven feast days and so it might seem a little bit surprising that not all seven are actually mandatory. You definitely want to keep those feast days, but there's added significance when we see that the feast days that are mandatory are the week-long feast of unleavened bread, Pentecost, which some argue is a week-long feast, and then the week-long feast of tabernacles. So let's show you what it is that we're supposed to be doing coming out of Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 34, where it's talking about how this is a week-long festival for the children of Israel. And don't be confused when it says the children of Israel. All that means is those that are obedient to the Bible and the scripture and what it says. It's not about blood ties and family history in these days. A Gentile simply means somebody who doesn't know the Lord. Just like a Samaritan is somebody who knows the Lord and the rules, but don't keep them. Israel is somebody who is actually obedient. So let's see what it is that we're supposed to be doing. You see there in verse 35 that it is a holy convocation, meaning that it is a very important day. And then it says there that we are to do no servile work on that day. Many of us will take off work that day or take off school that day, or at least do no servile work if we have to do something like go to school or something. It's actually supposed to be a day of rest. So if you work in the night shift on October the 11th, you'll want to start your rest period on the evening of October the 11th. But for the rest of us who work during the daylight hours, it is actually on October the 12th that we'll have off that week. That's going to be Wednesday and we'll have off the next week too on Wednesday. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So let's get back and look at the verses. You see right here in verse 36, it says, For seven days we are to make an offering made by fire. And we just did a video on what our offerings and our sacrifices look like in these days. So if you want, you can go, you can check out that video or you can uh, pause your screen and review these texts from Sirach that talks about what our offerings look like, how it is that we turn our bodies into a living sacrifice to our father. We see these in the book of Sirach, chapter 35, verses 1 through 12. Mainly, you see how it's talking about keeping the law. So during this week-long festival, you might actually want to read the Book of the Covenant, which again starts in Exodus chapter 20 and goes through chapter 23. That's how we make a peace offering to our Father in heaven. And then in verse 2, it tells us to be kind to our brother. And you can start by hitting the like button to this video as an act of kindness. But anyway... You see in verse 3, it says to avoid all wickedness and to forsake unrighteousness is atonement. But then you notice down here that it goes on to start talking about tithes and offerings. And there is no spiritual equivalent to that. So what you'll want to do is find your spiritual leader and give him a gift or something like that. But anyway, you see in 36 that it is an eight day long festival. So it starts the evening of October the 11th. That's going to be Tishri 14. And it's going to end on the evening of October the 19th. That's going to be Tishri 22. And then you see here where it says that it is a solemn assembly. But in the Septuagint translation, it says that it is a time of release. So it's not necessarily a sad day or anything like that. So we may consider the rules that we see below. Like down there in verse 40, where it's saying that we ought to take palm branches and the branches from other goodly trees and wave them each day of the festival, rejoicing and singing before our Father. 
And then in verse 42, we see that we are to dwell in booths or tents. So you definitely want to consider doing both of those, even though those two parts are reserved for what it says here, people that are native Israel. To me, that sounds like people who have been doing these feast days for a while. But I will advise everybody to join in by sleeping in a tent if you can and making it a very joyful week. Again, starting this evening at sunset on October the 11th. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to put them below. And you can check out some of the other videos that we did, giving us more specifics on the day. Please leave us a comment. Make sure you hit that like button and shalom.